I'm gonna show you how um, to do the tracings using simple new right tracing. And um, yeah, so for this, obviously you need a simple new right tracer. Once you click on SMT, you get to this sort of panel where you wanna hit SMT. Now here, it basically tells you for the reconstruction file, which is your tracing file or your traces of the specific image and the image that you want, right? So for example, uh, I'm gonna, obviously I'm gonna share with you uh, two folders that are gonna be completely randomized and completely blinded um, of the TIFF files that we find here. So just to say, let's click on this one to show you how we can do a tracing. Um, so let's click here. Now that's gonna be there for image file. Uh, for the traces, I would, um, I would encourage you to create a separate tracing file, tracing folder, sorry. And here you can have your uh, individual traces um, sort of figure it out. And, you know, just to save them there. Tracing channel, um, we can, I like to immediately set it up to two. Um, and I'm gonna show you why very quickly. So, okay, once we click okay, we'll, the console might open and we don't really care about the console itself. Uh, okay, this is just, uh, yeah, it's a perfect image, path manager, and SNT. Okay, cool. So once we're here, uh, you would realize that um, channel, well, that's a whole um, that's a whole interface here. So the file, we don't want to touch anything from here. We just want to start um, looking at our image and start doing the traces. So before we do that, we obviously need to set up which data source do we need for the... Um, for the trace finding or the auto tracing to be done on, right? If we set this up to, to channel one, it doesn't look for a, for a um, it kind of look for an optimal path or a path throughout the neuride because it essentially traces it over. It doesn't have information to, to trace it over, right? But if you set it up to channel two, for instance, then simply you select this, this, and it finds the optimal path uh, automatically with the auto tracing, okay? So this, I would encourage you to either channel two or if you really are interested in in, tra in tracing a specific um, thing from, um, from a neuron that you can only see in map two, maybe you can change directly to map two um, and do your tracing there. But I would encourage you to go just with uh, channel two and disable the enable snapping because the enable snapping essentially what it does is like it doesn't, it makes it jitter and look for optimal positions, um, but it's just easier if you just have full control over it. Okay, so um, to get started, we just, I would advise to change it to green. It's just easier to see. And then once you're in green, maybe make this bigger and uh, yeah, maybe you can just make this smaller and whatever, play around with it. And uh, yeah, oops. Yeah, so once you're here, I would encourage you to do image and change it to green and then sharpen it. Sharpen doesn't really um, touch the signal. The signal, as you can see, is, is the same and essentially just makes a little bit um, easier to track some of the um, some of the new rights. Okay, so once you start, you would go to, you're in your channel two, everything looks nice. You click on the center. As you can see, there's a little point. You click on the center of the soma um, you use probably channel one to do so. Um, and, uh, you click, you do Y yes, and then F finish. I did it automatically with the shortcuts. You, I press Y and then F, and then it tells me this, it, this little window appears and then I click yes. And that's my single point. That's my first point, obviously. And that we tag it as a SOMA. And then I can just start doing my traces over my um, parts of interest. YF, it's perfect. I, I wanna track this small one, YF. And I wanna track this small one as well. So this is something that happens obviously because there's more signal coming out of here. It would find that the optimal path is going back. For this, just press N again and go up. And then press Y and now press Y once again. And that's and that will just figure it out on itself. Okay, once you have here, I would recommend you to change them as, um, oh wait, sorry. 
So uh, once you are in this red, you gotta press F. We kind of forget about that. And sorry, so now once you're here, you would um, tag them as like SL dendrites or whatever. The software just needs to know that they're dendrites to then run the shell analysis after. Once you are here, um, you wanna basically attach the dendrite, the first dendrite to the soma, and you do so by clicking right click, edit, edit mode, and then you, you're gonna start to see this crosshair that appears over the different points. So if you hover over the soma, it would have the crosshair would appear in the soma. Then what you want to do is hover over the node zero or the zero point of the dendrite, press G. And now once you have this, once you have the crosshair also in this point, you want to right click and connect to path node zero. Like so. Now, as you can see, the soma is um, the parent of my dendrite. Right? And it's this relationship, that's why it's indented, right? Okay, so um, now I want to make these um, neurites children of my um, basal dendrite. So what I need to do is now sort of how we did it with the soma. We want to go into, um, we want to select the basal dendrite that we're interested, edit path, and always, always the relationship is from parent um, to child, right? So we do the same. We have this selected. Now we move here, G, and now we connect. Fantastic. And then we do it for the last one. Edit path. Uh, sorry, as I said, like now I pressed it wrong on the on the children. We press on the on the parent um, on the parent path. We uh, have the crosshair on the closest point to the um, the closest point to the to the new to the new path, and we press G again right click and then connect to path. You can also do it with a shortcut um, with just directly pressing C and that would just join them up. And that's pretty much it. I mean, I didn't trace them all, but this is just a demonstration. So yeah, once you're, once you're here, what you wanna do is uh, with all the different points, you will see that there's no missing, there's no missing soma that is in connect, not connected to anything or dendrite that is not connected to everything. Now everything starts as soma and scales up or not, depending on your trace. And what you wanna do right now is save the tracing, save, save as, and put them in a, in a folder that you're interested in. Uh, say, you know, you have your custom traces and you press save and it will be safe uh, as a, um, with the name of the file that you've been tracing and adult traces. And that's pretty much it, nothing else. I think this is, this is it. Thank you.